What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video today, man. And today we're finna head over to the crash site where Henry Ruggs got into that horrific crash and killed uh, the young lady that was in the uh, in the vehicle. Uh, so my family and I are here right now. We're getting ready to pull up and then let you guys take a look at it, man, and kind of see it for yourself. Um, just wanted to bring you this footage, man, just so you guys who haven't maybe seen the news of exactly where the location was. It would have been right here on Spring Valley um, and Rainbow. So it must have been coming this particular way, guys. As you guys can see, there all is the all. Uh, there is all of the memorial stuff right there uh, for the young lady who lost her life. Um, which way do you say they were coming? So it looks like they were headed this way, guys. Um, and you guys will be able to see it right here. You guys can check it out right there. Oh, you guys can see it right there. As you guys can see, this is where all the candles and what have you up. Uh, very sad moment for that 23 year old girl. Um, and, uh, that's what it is, man. So this is the actual street that it was on, though. This is Rainbow. Boulevard, as you guys can see over there, Rainbow Boulevard is right up there. The sign is Rainbow Boulevard, and they were actually headed down this way. Um, so we should be able to see some type of tire marks or, or something uh, to kind of give you guys maybe more of a visual as to what exactly happened. As you guys can see on that sign, it does say rest in peace. Tina and Max must have been the dog's name um, right there. But there it is, guys. I mean, it doesn't get any realer than that, man. It lets you know that you definitely want to be taking it slow. Um, no need to speed and do any of that. Because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, somebody's life can be at risk. Now, I don't see any tire marks yet. So, so they were actually going the opposite way. That's why. So I was just told by my wife they were going this way. So we're going to spin around. And we're going to see if we can get that, uh, maybe the tire marks or anything else that we can see uh, right here. We'll probably get out and give you more of an in-depth video. All right, guys, so uh, we're back ready to bring you guys where this accident was at. Um, be able to see exactly where that accident was at. So me and my son are walking. We're right here, as you guys can see. Um, they got some pink marks right here. Slow down, Jace. They got some pink marks right here, guys where the actual uh, accident was at. You guys can see where the pink marks are. You guys see the cat leaving. Um, Jay, slow down. We're gonna go ahead and keep walking right here. But as you guys can see, the pink marks all on the side, guys, of where the actual accident was at. Um, you know, they said he was coming through here doing 156 miles an hour. Uh, so that was quite some speed to be coming through here moving at that speed so as you guys can see the pink marks right here will be henry ruggs's car if you guys can see that right there the pink marks will be henry ruggs's car uh where the car was they trajected the victim's car would be the green marks right here as well so it looks like they hit right here where they said aic um and then he was going still kind of rolled up on the side of the curb right there as you guys can see down there the tire marks on the curb and then that green part would be where the victim kind of veered off after he hit her um, at that miles an hour speed that he was going and kind of trajected her and put her into the middle of the road so um, what you guys can see you guys see glass there too as well um, so they do have it kind of marked off guys um, you do see the pink of where he hit and then you guys start to see the green where she actually veered away um, This is pretty crazy, man. This is you know, definitely Something you guys want to keep in mind uh, When you're driving man, who would have thought that somebody could come down here doing 156 miles an hour? Uh, you know and, and take somebody's life. Now, I do feel for the young man. He's 22 years old um, and it's a sad, sad day, you know, for him, his family, especially for the victim's family. But as you guys can see right here, this is where he spun out. They must have popped up on the curb a little bit. Follow the lines, guys. The lines will tell you everything that you need to know. 
it shows you that how they do uh, kind of see how these accidents happen. They play it back. Yeah, they got part of this car right there. Some gloves. And we guys are on the pink mark right here. So they must have came up right here, guys. And then, well, Henry Ruggs did his car. And then the car swerved again. And then the, uh, the actual other car here, too, as well. So um, this is crazy, man, to even be here. See this tire marks right there? And then this is where the victim was, man. So Henry Ruggs still kind of curved over to here to the side. Um, and then they have where his car was parked at. So see you guys where the fluid is right here and everything. So it looks like the right rear tire, the left rear, left front, and then the right front. Henry Ruggs car set right here. We're stepping in the glass right here, guys. And then this is where the victim actually where the, the actual fire was at over there, guys. So that's pretty nuts to see that, man. Really, really nuts. Then you guys see they do have the memorial and stuff out here for us too as well. But man, that's uh pretty sad, man. Pretty sad. Pretty sad, man. And then you guys can see the memorial for their, her over there as well. Uh, but you know, pretty sad, man, to see this. Just wanted to bring this guys to you as you guys can see we are on spring bow and spring valley and this is where the actual accident happened tell her to stay there stay there yeah but this is where the actual accident did happen guys so definitely keep that in mind man whenever you're out you definitely want to take it easy um don't drive fast at the end of the day because you can put somebody's life in jeopardy man but just wanted to bring you guys that footage, man. And for those of you that have not seen it, uh, definitely a sight to see. It gives you an opportunity for you to see exactly what happened in that crash, man. So uh, my condolences to the victim and her family um, and Henry Ruggs and his family too, because at the end of the day, he still is somebody's son. Um, you know, if that was my kid, I'm still gonna love my kid regardless. So my pleasure bringing that to you guys. Uh, until the next time guys, peace. Now this is Tropicana. Tropicana will take you up to the top of the strip that will be by MGM. Uh, but we're gonna turn back around really quick and just see, actually here it is guys, where they have the marks. You guys can see the red marks and where they kind of mark the cars uh, to go right here. Um, and we're actually on the same exact path where they marked everything as you guys can see, AIC. Um, and then the vehicles must have pulled over there. Um, and this is where you guys seeing Henry Ruggs and his girlfriend outside the vehicle, um, kind of sitting on the ground. And the guy that had the cell phone must have been right over that fence looking in. So they kind of marked it. As you guys can see the green, and then you guys can also see the pink. And that gives you a visual of what happened, guys. So they must have been right up here. That's exactly where that was. And uh, yeah, shows the car there too, where the green it is. We'll get a spin back around one more time kind of just to see it again but yeah just wanted to show you guys that and i'm about to get some better footage i will um here in a second all right guys so we want to spin around real quick and just kind of bring you guys a little bit more footage uh my wife was able kind of to depict which car was which so if you guys see the green marks on the road the green marks were the car of the victim who got hit and passed away um, it looks like you can see the burn marks right there. I just kind of hope the camera picks it up a little bit better. Um, and then the pink marks will be where Henry Ruggs' car ended up on the side of the road and where him and his girlfriend were able to kind of get out. So as you guys can see that right there, you guys see those pink marks. Like I said, we're right on the path of them kind of losing control, um, maybe hitting that car right here. And then that car, her car, which is the green stripes, ended up going clear over to the side of the road while Henry veered to the right, she went to the left. And you guys can actually kind of see there where he landed and then you guys can see the burn marks right there uh, where she uh, got hit. So very, very, very tragic, man. Uh, coming through here doing 156 miles an hour here in Vegas is nuts. I mean, I was telling my wife, I. I, I can't say that I do see why he did, but I mean, it was a one way, um, you know, at three o'clock in the morning, 
Um, you know, it probably is not that much traffic out here, guys, to begin with. So, um, you know, still very unfortunate event, man, that he had to take someone's life. And, you know, with him out here just, you know, driving fast and under the influence of alcohol at the same time, guys, it goes a long way. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys and let you see we'll keep it short and sweet. Um, definitely my heart goes out to the, uh, the victim and her family. Um, I think her brother did come out and speak and as well as Henry Ruggs, his brother. Um, if you are a parent in this matter, I definitely would still care for my child, uh, you know, at the end of the day, because that's your job. You know, if you're going to make mistakes, you're going to make mistakes. But at the end of the day, it's still your child. So I can't say that, you know, I wouldn't be a certain way because if it was my child that went through it, I would be supporting and just letting them know that they should have made better decisions at the end of the day. So. You know, that man had everything uh, for him not to have, you know, he's not going to have anything at all after this, guys. Um, it's going to be very unfortunate for that young man, 22 years old. His life is going to drastically change. And, it, you know, that's that's the sad part about it. He does have kids. He does have a girlfriend. He does have people that he's leaving behind. Um, same for the victim, which is more important um, here, of course, is, you know, her family's got to deal with their grieving uh, of losing their daughter. And, uh, you know, that's never going to be the same, man. So it's sad to see that, uh, you know, but that tells you the moral of the story is to make better decisions. Right, guys? Yeah. Definitely want to be able to make better decisions. You know, I'm not going to lie. I've been in this Hellcat. We've done some pretty cool driving in here, but I can never imagine getting up to 157, 160 miles an hour and then not being able to stop and lose control like that and then killing someone on top of that guy. So... Um, you know, moral of the story is, like I said, man, make your better, make decisions um, and make better decisions, man, too. You know, if you're going to drink, make sure that you do have some type of Uber to come pick you up or else you're putting somebody's life in jeopardy, guys. And that's the sad part about it is, you know, who would have expected to be on this street and have this happen? You know what I mean? On this little street that, you know, we turned down. So just wanted to bring you guys that footage, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are getting out, you know, they're parking. Uh, a lot of people are going up, walking, you know, looking at the different areas and stuff and kind of seeing what's going on. But, you know, here is it. The last time we're going to show you guys and we're going to get to where we're going. We got a few other things that we've got to do. Uh, but this is Rainbow Road, man. And we're actually headed straight into where, um, you know, they have a little memorial thing for her. And then you guys can see the burn marks right there. Uh, right underneath that truck and then just everything they had it marked and how they went through and checked everything uh, To make sure that this is indeed what happened with this particular crash man, so That's gonna be it for this one man. Make sure you like share subscribe uh, Make sure you do share this video man for those of you that have not seen the crash site um, um, You know, we're just gonna keep it plain Jane and simple man and to the next time guys. Peace